Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again on a 25 streak and this time we're going in as Tainted Azazel, apparently. Not a particularly hard character, uh, but I mean, I don't know, it depends. Oh, Sacred Dreams has errors right off the bat. That's new. Um, okay. I might want to see if I can let the devs know about that. I don't know what that means. It seems fine, I guess. I don't know. We'll find out. Hopefully it's not going to break too much. We'll find out. Uh, but yeah, I actually really, really like this new mod that I got with the boulder brimstones with uh, with the Azazel uh, brim. Like, look at that. Oh, it just it just looks so... I don't know. It just it feels so much better. It feels so much more impactful with that, like, dark outline around it. I don't know. I just love it. Anyways, easy first room. I doubt... I doubt we're going to get a, a first floor like last time because that was just honestly insane. Okay, these guys just decided to kill themselves. Uh, that, that last... Yeah, that last run, the first floor was just honestly absolutely ludicrous, and I can't be expecting anything like that again. But we can always hurt. We can always hurt. I do, however, quite like um, getting keys and stuff early on. If we can get a, a soul heart early on as well, that would be rather nice. Lovely stuff. Soul heart, soul heart, soul heart. Nah, keys and a bomb. It's nice. And in here we get. Unfortunately, not a great item. It's not a bad item. It's not terrible, I'd say. Of the quality zero items, it's definitely one of the higher tier ones, but that doesn't by any means make it good. I like blasting those guys away so the creep can't hurt me. Oh, we did get one of these guys. Uh, I will take that... Um, I've never noticed before that it says instant capitalism. I will take one of these guys just for later on when we've got some money. Obviously, right now, it's not super useful. Range, I don't think, does anything for us here. Although, it might actually increase the radius of our uh, little breath thing, our little brimstone breath. Unfortunately, yeah, we, 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 this is really not a good first floor. We've got a pretty bad item, and then we're getting a pretty bad boss item guaranteed as well. But we did get half a soul heart, which in getting that means that I'm going to go to my, um, my curse room. Means I'm not spending any of the HP that I started with, and I can full card out. Right, let's take out these out first before I do anything stupid. Wow, just a poop. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Right, full card out. And I'm not entirely sure on Secret Room, because there's a few places it could be. It could be here, which I think is likely. It could be at the bottom of here, I believe, as well. Because that wall's free, that wall's free. And is this wall free? I'm, I'm going to gamble on it being there. I think it's more likely to be there. It's only one bomb, so it's a pretty big gamble. Yeah, unfortunate. I'm pretty sure it's it's right here, then. Um, Normally, I, it's like near, like, sort of surrounded by more rooms. Dude, I am so glad I came in here. Um, Was not expecting this at all. Wasn't expecting this at all. Oh, and there's a tinted rock in here as well. I mean, honestly, should I... Should I buy the soul heart? Or should I buy the bomb to bomb the tinted rock to potentially get two soul hearts? It's a weird gamble, but I'm going to go for it. Because I might get two soul hearts and I might also get... Yeah, there you go. You see, the gamble paid off. Um... Right, is there anything else we could get out of this? I mean, let's let's take this and hope for um, I was hoping for a, another bomb. Unfortunate, but yeah, we've been maxed. We've 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 done our job here. We've we've got as much as we can. Unfortunately, it wasn't a whole hell of a lot, but we've gotten as much as we can. Oh, I've just made myself um some pas some pesto pasta for the week. Although I am very annoyed at myself. I basically have like meal prep for myself to try and make sure I stay healthy um, and don't eat shit. But I'm a little annoyed at myself because I forgot to put fucking garlic in it. And it's like, ugh. It's not, like, necessary, but it's 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 better with garlic. And, ugh. We did get Ultra Flesh Kid, though. That's great because we don't actually require Red Hearts here, so. Happy to have him around. Very happy to have him around indeed. Um, He's a, a good addition to the crew. And a fine gentleman. A fine young fella. Um, As for the question of the day, what's, what's your favourite thing that, you, that you've cooked? And if you don't cook, why the hell not? What's wrong with you? <laughs> no, but if, if, especially if you're younger, learn to cook while you can. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very good idea to learn to cook while you can. It's a it's a skill you will never regret having. It'll save you a lot of money in the long run. And 
it's um it's kind of oh very nice it's kind of one of those things that i think it helps people like in new relationships and just in relationships in general a lot more than people expect okay so i mean i'm bombing through here regardless because i want the soul heart but we're going to need two more bombs to be able to open that bad boy up. Although I think it will drop some money on being bombed, so the two bombs might be worth it already. We'll see, we'll see. I don't remember how many um, hearts Ultra Flesh Kid has here. Do you know what would be really fun, actually? If we could get Ultra Flesh Kid and Ultra Meat Boy, like the last level of Meat Boy, in one go. Um, unfortunately, I think it's unlikely at this point that we're going to end up getting um, the bombs we require. We got one there, though. Right, let's uh, let's see what we got going on with this. But yeah, imagine getting Ultra Flesh Kid and uh, the Meat Boy all in one go. That'd be pretty fun. Fraudulent Fungus is pretty nice here. Um, it does give us a red heart and Devil Deal. Our health is not bad. I'm gonna at least check it out. Um, shop items can be patched even can't be forded. Um, okay, yeah, let's let's grab that. Let's top hat in here, and let's do that to get all of them for free. So we got Judas's Shadow as a backup. Taking damage with an empty heart container will remove all heart containers and give... How is that a bonus? With an empty heart container will remove all heart containers and give half a black heart and a abyss logus. How is that good? I mean, I'm going to take it, because I don't have any red hearts right now. I didn't have a chance to drop fiend minions on death minions that disappear on room clear. Chance starts at 5%. Uh, bonus chance supplied for every immoral heart you have. That was pretty good. That was like one of my better uses of credit card there. And we can also now go to the shop and potentially get a bomb even though we can't afford one, which is another reason why I took that. I'd like to blow up that there. So let's go and do that. Right, here we go. Oh boy. Um, oh boy. <laughs> this is... This is some good stuff here, so definitely buying that. Um, I will buy that as well. I mean, we're taking damage downs here, but I'll be honest, for the for the stuff that we just got, I don't care. <laughs> that is a very very good shop, and I think this is a floor that I've uh, I've played pretty well on. I've I've managed to min max pretty effectively. Okay, we're making up most of our money back already. Look. Getting our damage back. And we get ourselves Mutant Spider, which of course will duplicate. Now, unfortunately, we do have the worst fire rate ever now. But um, we also got Spider Baby, which is interesting. We do now have like the worst fire rate ever. Weird that it's got rid of our body, but we don't have flight. I don't, I, I'm guessing that's just a visual bug. But yeah, we do now have like the worst fire rate, but we fire a lot of beams. And taking that second mutant spider wasn't a bad thing. We're just going to need a lot of fire rate ups when we can get our hands on them, to be honest. I think this will be good in the long run, but short term, it's probably a bad thing. Extra bombs, nice. We have an XL floor here. That was a really, really bad hit there. Extra bombs there as well. Yeah, I'm very happy with what we've got going on right now. Don't know why this room's uh, not activated. The wafer. Wafer duplicate doesn't do anything, so yes. I am unsure why that chest has the wafer in its item pool, but I like that it does. <laughs> we'll check this out, considering there's items in here that are freebies. Uh, treasure map. I'll come back and see if we want to buy any of these. I'll come back and check. Just because we can take stuff for free doesn't mean we should every time we can. Uh, can these guys not kill that little dude? What the hell? Weird. That's strange. Chance at soul hearts. We've got to open those up. Not always going to get them, but we got to try. I love this. <laughs> Although the fire rate is abysmal, this is very fun. I think I'm going to hold out with my modeling clip this floor to hopefully get a tier rate up from our boss and then duplicate that. I think fire rate is just the most important thing for us right now. And we don't want to be doing anything to jeopardize that. Um, we want to be doing everything to improve it. Nice. 
get... Uh, our flesh kid's got to be pretty close to leveling up right about now. I'd say he's only two or three hearts off. Nice soul heart there. Can you grab that? There you go. Yeah, I'm going to say, I never remember how many hearts it is to get him fully leveled up, but I don't think it's a lot. I'll take that. X lax. Okay, I don't like the fact that you were getting pretty close there, but luckily my flesh kid did a good job. Are these minions broken? Or do they just do abysmally low damage? Because normally they're pretty good and they don't seem to be doing a whole hell of a lot right now. Flesh kid, why you gotta why you gotta make things so awkward, man? There you go. Is he broken? He's not following me anymore. Okay, no, he's good. He's good. Just that room had uh, had confused him, I think. I think enemies over pits are uh, are causing him some distress. Right. We did get the champion version of this guy, which is much harder. I've literally got to kite enemies around and wait until I can fire. This guy does pee out some enemies when he dies. That's exactly, exactly what we're looking for. That's not, uh, like, it's, that. that's pretty much doubled our fire rate, almost. It's not solved all our problems, but it's made them a hell of a lot better. Fibs is fine. I will check this out because we do have a revive. Although I don't even know how the revive will work. I'm pretty sure we'll lose our brimstone if we get the revive, so I'm probably not wanting it. Lump of coal is amazing here for us. Very, very nice. Okay. We've not seen either of our item rooms yet, so let's skippity hop back the way we came. I really like how our brimstone looks with the thicker outlines and lump of coal. That's really nice. But yeah, when we're on a streak, taking something like uh, Judas's Shadow. I mean, obviously it was free, so I'm going to take it, but even when it's not free, it's a good pickup because just having a revive just in case is very, very useful. You watch, I'm going to find something now that duplicates into something amazing. <laughs> but I think Mutant Spider is like a pretty goddamn good duplication overall, I'd say. Pretty goddamn good. Yeah, I also made a quiche earlier as well. Um... And I'm waiting for that to cool at the minute. Probably not going to eat any of it today. Um, honestly, the lily is pretty useless, so I think we'll just grab this. It's, it's, it's not exactly what I'd want, especially considering it doesn't have a custom one, but it's, it's literally better than nothing. Because that item is pretty much nothing to us. Spider Babby, what you, what you doing? You're, you're affecting enemies with all sorts of various things. Ooh, Flesh Kid, this is going to be an evolve for you, isn't it? Yes, there you go. Hey, Firecracker, I'll take it. It's not very good, I'll be honest. I don't, I don't think Firecracker is a very good item, just because it's uh, like a five second delay until the actual Firecracker blows up, which is, in my opinion, just nearly pointless for most things other than bosses, but it's just, it's a nice item to pick up, and when it does go off, it is useful. Now the question is, do we want to take a damage down for some shop items? I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I do for the map at least. Uh, we should grab this pennies here just so we get less damage down. Yeah, I think I do want to uh, just because I think the map is pretty goddamn useful, and I love having um, the ability to see. Do you know something that'd be really nice? If you have the map plus the blue map, it should make it so that you can't be affected by Curse of the Lost. That would be a good, like, little sort of micro-synergy sort of thing. I know this game doesn't really do the whole, like, synergy thing, but I think that'd be nice. I think that'd be quite nice. Right. Down we go. Keep her going, keep her going. One thing to remember when modeling clays, we can steal, um... Why is there a red room over there? Is that, uh... Normally the red rooms are what they're called, aren't they? Um... Tainted treasure rooms. There's a red room on the map. It's normally a tainted treasure. This is one of my rooms. Oh, no, it's not. It's very similar to one of my rooms, but it's not actually one of my rooms. Okay. Yeah, there you go. There it is. Tainted treasure room right there. Look. 
Oh god, I didn't expect you to do that for some reason. Yeah, I wish my little minions actually did some damage. I don't know if that bugged or something. Um, oh, we actually have no idea what this could be. Uh, Humbling Bundler, but I believe, is the only item thus far we've taken that can be converted. So let's take a little look online, shall we? On a line and see what the Tainted Treasure Humbling Bundle is. Uh, Isaac Tainted Treasures. Okay. Tainted Treasure Room Wiki, here it is. So I think Humbling Bundle is the only one um, that we have. Tainted Treasure Room, list of collectibles. So, treasure map, it could be the Atlas. Adds up to four rooms um, every floor. There can be special rooms. So that could be one of them. Um, we've got, I think the only other thing is the Humbling Bundle, right? We've got Cupid's Arrow, Treasure Map, Sad Onion, Gemini, Mum's Knife, Hive Mind, SMB Superfan, Member Card, Lost Contact, Damocles, Serpent's Kiss, Black Candle, Godhead, Spoonbender, there's options, restock. Okay, I'm not seeing anything at the moment. Uh, Sad Onion, we've not got Sad Onion. Ooh, it could be Mutant Spider. Grant six tuple shot, Isaac now fires six tiers, but decreases his tier rate. Okay, so I think it's, I think it's probably that, which, I, I don't know. Could be, could be kind of fun. I don't know, it's Atlas. <laughs> Atlas is fine as well. I, I prefer mapping, I'll be honest, but Atlas is also fine because the ability to get um, to get extra rooms is kind of nice, especially considering they can be treasure rooms if you get lucky. And that's pretty cool. But it would have been interesting to also have um, have the mutant spider go off and have one mutant spider and then one um, six double mutant spider. It would it'd probably lower our fire rate even more, though, is the only thing. It'd be a... It'd put us in a bit of a difficult spot, I'd say. We're in Dank Depths 1 here. We do have Curse the Blind on right now as well. Yeah, Lumper Coal is proving itself. Ooh, baby, that's pretty nice. It's going to help us out with uh, Mum. Here's our shop. We don't know what we're getting from here. I will buy a Soul Heart, though, for the uh, low, low price of a little bit of damage. I say having having dad's wallet is incredibly useful. It's such a good item. I mean, the, I'll be honest. One of the biggest things that I find powerful about it is the fact that it drops a credit card on on gra like when you pick it up, because that either means the shop slash devil deal you buy it from, you get everything else for free, or you save it for the next shop slash devil deal and get everything else for free there. That's just extremely strong. Got a burn heart there. That's nice. Don't mind if I do. Now, we do have to remember to try and grab a heart before Flesh Kick grabs it. Yeah, Lump Lump of Coal is making us quite strong here, because the further away we are, the more damage we do. Obviously, that's always a positive. Good, good Humbling Bundle is meaning that we don't really have to worry too much about bombs and such as well, which is nice. Good. good. We want 17 bombs right now. Certainly don't have to worry about it at this moment in time. Did not see that spider coming towards me there. We've also got the um, the little ghosts coming off us from the uh, the heart we got. I can't remember what the heart's called now. What, what, what the hell's it called? Baleful heart. That's the one. The little baleful heart. Where you at? Oh, you've been charmed by something. I don't really know what. Oh my, my little spider buddy. I will take a blind item here. Oh, and I got Junkin. Okay, so we, at the minute, it would be hilarious. I, I, I kind of wish I had two Junkins right now. I'm, I'm a little bit sad that I don't. Um, but it would be hilarious to get, like, these two leveled up and have a little best friendship going on. So I will be bombing whatever item this is. Do your little invincibility phase, my guy. Have fun. Ow, my holy mantle. How dare you? And I'm going to duplicate this and see what it is. More of the void. Pretty nice. And I think I can bomb them both. I can. Very nice. Um... Nothing much else I can do here, is he? I can bomb shop items, so I'm gonna go back to my shop. This is one one thing about the the about Junkin is he is a little bit broken. 
in in the fact that you can bomb things that you haven't purchased yet, like devil deals and shops. That does not mean I'm not going to abuse it. <laughs> There's no way, no how. This this little best friendship here that we've got going on between Ultra Flesh Kid and Sir Junkin is um, Jebediah, as we used to call him in my gun uh, my old Gungeon series. Is uh, it's a blossoming friendship, and we can't we can't deny it. We cannot deny it. Let's keep going. I just kind of wish that I'd, I'd used thingy um, on this. But now, if we if we actually time up our more of the void plus um, firing this, our more of the void charge time is very similar to our beam. Um, so we're in a very good place to utilize more of the void heavily. Um, and it's obviously more of the void's damage is fucking amazing. So very good stuff. We're not going to have mapping on the next floor, unfortunately. Atlas will take that, taking that away from us, but we might get some extra item rooms, so we do want to be doing full clearing. Atlas kind of makes it so it's worthwhile to full clear here. Right, where we go. Yeah, there does need to be some sort of prevention of you uh, cheesing it, like, with, with junk and really. Realistically, some cheese prevention would not be a bad idea. Good. I like the fact that we've got this model in clay as well that looks suspiciously like Junkin. <laughs> like the face isn't, but the like the colour of him and the size of him and stuff, it's it's basically just Junkin. I'm hoping this last floor we can get a BFF as well. BFF would really drive the point home with this setup here we got going on. I'll come back for that key if I feel like it. But yeah, so far I'm absolutely in love with this run. We've been just having the streak. This is one of the, another reason I've been really enjoying the streak recently. I mean, you, you you guys have probably noticed I've been doing a bit more streak videos than I have regular videos. I mean, one, I feel like the game is just more fun for me when there's a more of a purpose. I know, obviously, the, the the new save file there is a purpose of trying to complete the save file, but I've I've done that before. This is going for high streaks is something I don't really do often, and I know it's not always everyone's like favorite thing to watch. Um, but I think I feel a, a lot of people do still enjoy it, and um. Just having more purpose is really nice. I mean, look, we, we got a fucking devil deal here. Um, broken hearts can now be used to purchase devil deals. Kind of interesting, but I don't know where else I'd get devil deals. I think I'm going to take money equals power like this. I don't think money equals power stacks. So I'm going to leave the other two. I have to try this, don't I? I, I can't not. I am so dumb. <laughs> oh, I have to take that as well because it's fire rate. Ah, it's a little fire rate. God damn it. Um, I I completely forgot the bombing bombing that rock there would uh, destroy the item. My bad. That was going to be something cool, but alas, it were not. Oh, hello. I do not like you being in a regular room here, my guy. We'd like to stop that and never see you again, please. You are not someone that I welcome to my birthday party. Ow, I forgot you did that. Oh, wait. I can still bomb the devil deals. I'm stupid. I can still bomb the devil deals and get my junk up to... I think this will be max rank, to be honest. Which, in this is, this is what I mean by it's stupid. And two floors you can get him to max rank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so silly. He gets a max rank so fast. I mean, he, he granted, he isn't anywhere near as strong as he is in Gungeon, so it's not as powerful. But um, he, he, is, he can be cheesed pretty easily. <laughs> Check out what these are. Algis is nice, but not super useful for us right now. Secret room, I'm just going to go quickly check for over here. Because we can get into our boss trap room if we uh, if it's there. It was not. It might be here though. It's not. Right. Check out in this room the uh, chest room. Ooh, petrified poop. Flesh kid, you've got to be close to leveling up, right? You've got to be close. Go, my junkin baby. You two will lead thousands. 
you will destroy the earth and conquer it together. I really hope I can get um, Ultra Flesh Kid up to max rank as well, to be honest. We've also got this Flea Circus Trinket doing some cool stuff for us as well. It's all good, man. It's all good. Yeah, as I was saying before, it just it adds a lot more purpose, and I just I don't know why, but the streak runs. I don't know if it's I'm min maxing or what, but they've been fucking top tier watches. Like I think they've been really enjoyable runs to watch because, although they are a lot of them have been very easy wins, uh, typically, um, there's still that element of like it could it could go wrong, and I am also playing a little riskier than I normally would. I don't know how this works here, but it might be good. It is good. It's very good. I mean, also, there's the there's the Lacrophagy glitch as well, so we might get some insta-kills. It's kind of interesting with Lump of Coal. Yeah, the Lacrophagy glitch is very, very strong. <laughs> for those of you that don't know, for some reason, Lacrophagy has this weird glitch where there's a there's a chance that when it ex if it, if the, if the explosion of the tears like poofing out into a happens directly on top of an enemy it can just like do ridiculous damage so that's pretty fun flesh kid it's dinner there you go. I, th I think i think he's, he's one off max level now yeah, this is like being able to proc Tammy's head every time we fire. I mean, just look how many tears we fire. Like, if I move backwards while firing this... Oh, that was kind of a shit one. Let's, let's go into this room. If I move back while firing this, look how many tears that is. <laughs> it's an alarming amount. It just creates a lacrophagy bomb straight away that basically kills everything. Only thing that could make this better now is Herman, because then the, um, the radial shots would just zoom in on enemies. It's pretty alarmingly good now. I haven't had Lacrophagy in a really long time as well, so it's fun to see it again. There ain't much no enemy can do to stop us now. Because we're having such a good time, we're having a ball. Ooh, hoo, 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 hello. Um, how exactly do I get over there without dying? Can I go over the top of these? Hmm. I very much want all of that HP, as does my Flesh Kid. That would, like, be an instant rank up for him, but I don't think there's any way I can get it. That's a shame, because that, that would be, like, an instant rank up for him. Haha, <laughs> get bloated. <laughs> Speedball's fine here. Ooh, we got some good stuff here. Piercing tears. Tears cause bleed, which makes enemies leave creep and take more damage when they move. Um, I mean, piercing tears isn't obviously a big deal. I'm going to go with at least one of these. I don't think I need two. I'm, I'm going to bomb these as well, just in case extra junk does do something, but I don't believe it does. Right, let's go. I am going to do hush, by the way, just to show the lacrophagy glitch off. It should work on Hush, even though it's a bit risky. Well, it's not exactly risky. We'll definitely kill him, but it's a bit risky in terms of we might lose some HP. But I think, if my theory is correct, we should get the Lacrophagy glitch and pretty much insta-kill him. Or, or close to. With this amount of shots creating the Lacrophagy basically exactly where we want it, it should be relatively easy to do. Luckily, they're giving us everything we need to uh, to rank up our boys. Eat, my child, eat. Oh wait, are you okay? He must be max rank then, because he's not he's not eating. Okay, fair enough. He's already ripe and ready. Ooh, we got a crawl space as well here. Was not expecting that from uh, this endeavor. I have just realized I think I've made mistakes. Uh, did they all die? I, I need to find out if they all died. They did not. Okay.
I mean, Greg the Egg would be a, a fun a fun chap to get involved here. But I think otherwise they're all a bit meh. They're all a bit meh. Right, hopefully we're on our way to the boss here. Proved wrong instantly. I don't even see those double red hearts in here either. Junkin's doing a pretty good job. I was saying he's not as strong as he is in, in Gungeon, but he's honestly doing a very, very good job. He's a respectable young gentleman. Right, boss time. Honestly, Junkin could just do this all on his own. He's so strong, actually. There you go. Pop in here real quick. We will grab that because it's free. Got these eyes nice as well. Thank you. And we'll go and do hush just to prove a point. <laughs> but we got an item here. Lovely. It's a good item as well. I'll leave that for now just in case I want to... Um... Got an item here. Is that a trinket maybe or an item? That's Hurst hat. We get two of them as well. Look affected chance to fire a... Hold up, hold up, hold up. We'll take some options, that's fine. I think I'll go with Hurst Hat here. I do get two of them after all. And then we'll duplicate this. Hoping for fire rate. Really? Didn't get a single fire rate? The fire rate would be insane right now. Passive melee weapon that can be charged for more powerful swings, swing feathers, and hits enemies. Passive melee weapon that can be charged for more powerful swings. I guess we'll see what it does. Just a death. Don't really care for that. Okay. We're good to go. Pushy boy. It's time. Now, unfortunately, as you can clearly see, the, the glitch doesn't always trigger. It's not super consistent. It did towards the end there, but to start with, it didn't. But there's a cha basically there's just a chance that when we do this it'll just insta kill him. It's not always gonna happen. Ooh, firecracker's going off there. But we are doing an insane amount of damage as you can see. I think the boss armor is messing with it a bit, but you can go straight through boss armor if you get lucky. Not impossible. Just doesn't always work. I mean, it's still, still fucking, fucking him up. That I think the glitch is still working. It's just not doing the really big hits. I think it is just a, a random chance. Or oh, there, there must be some method to it, but it's not always going to work. Like I said boss armor kind of messes with the form. But you can see we're kind of blasting through his boss armor quite quickly. First, that just saved me some bits from some damage there. Easy kill. Lovely stuff. Up we go. Beautiful. Just beautiful. I think we've got this one pretty much in the bag, haven't we? I liked all the extra speed we just picked up as well. The extra speed is very nice. Mr. Boom's also kind of nice. Mr. Mega even. I like the way that, like, when the Lacrophage Tears first spawn, they can spawn a really tiny um, Eye of the Occult thing. Or, uh, we do need some keys, actually. Or, if you, like, get it to the point where the Lacrophage actually procs and it goes off, you create a fucking massive one. You can see, like, a little tiny baby ones there, look. Trying to get more keys here if we can. Not that we need the items, obviously, but it'd be nice to grab them, just to see. Hmm. 
Ooh, what the hell? I've never seen one of these doors on this floor before. What the hell? I don't think I've ever seen... Oh, it must be Atlas. It must be Atlas is doing that. Oh, goddamn. And now I've got to make my way back up because I need to get this key. Oh, this is going to be a fucking nightmare, isn't it? What have I done to myself? That was pretty fun, though. I like that. That's some creative, creative thinking that I like right there. Right. Back through. Yeah, it must, must be Atlas that did that and gave us that there. How are you still alive? Was that mustard seed keeping him alive? Maybe it was. Not mustard seed. Do you know what I mean? The, 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 the firecracker seeds. Got hit by something there. I think it was those little dudes at this either side. I don't really think I really paid attention to them. Oh, dude, I'm getting, I'm taking some bad damage at the minute. Luckily, we have the wafer, so realistically, it doesn't matter. I didn't remember that we had the wafer until I was on a half heart there. There you go. <laughs> like Rafiji, you beautiful bastard. Works a lot better with multi shot, as you can clearly see. As you can clearly see. We only got one key, so. Ooh. Ipecac. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> There's absolutely no way I'm taking Ipecac right now. Let's hope we can make our way correctly to the boss, but as we've proven already, there's going to be some dead ends. There's another key there. Not that we need it, really. None of those items are really of any use to us. I do not care for them, thank you. I do not care for them. How did that? Okay. Luckily, Junkin's getting in there with little herming shots and stuff. Maybe he shouldn't have herming at max rank, even even though he's meant to be strong. Herming on him seems very, very good. Oh, come on, game. Let me go the right way just one time, please. Just the one time. I, I, I quite like having Guppy's eye for this um, this area, just knowing what's in the chest straight away. It's very useful. There's an item room in here. That's kind of weird. Atlas does it again. Yeah, I got it. Why not? There we go. Lovely stuff. We are good to go. Now, as you can see, Lacrophage isn't quite going as insane when I'm using this, but this, is, this still will kill him pretty quick. It is still going insane, mind you. Just not as insane. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. A nice and easy run. I thoroughly enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.